Hi, this is another of the weekly growth videos for King of Avalon. I am going to evaluate the targets I set last week and set some new targets for the coming week. First, looking at the heroes, I had as a goal to get Sir Balin to level 38, uh, XP level 38, which I succeeded in. Uh, the next step, I'm going to focus on Sir uh, Lamorak. Maybe it's uh, yeah. Maybe I went on too long to focus on Fortimer. I've spent quite some time on that, but I realized today hitting the golem that actually I did more damage with Sir Lamorak already, even though I only have it at level 17 and two stars, than Fortimer at level 30 and three stars. I guess that makes sense because probably or potentially the damage doesn't do anything extra against monsters. But yeah, I think I'm just going to, I also don't want to switch all the time. Maybe I'm going to look tomorrow when the, um, the first Merlin Trial uh, hero is available on Sunday. See whether Fortimer Lamarack does better. But probably I'm going to focus on Sir Lamarack and yeah, try to get that to three stars so that for sure it will be better. Eh? At, uh, let's look here at three stars. I get the 16% army damage bonus and Fortimer yeah, does have a nice uh, bowman damage bonus at 15%. But yeah, once I get the armor damage bonus, bonus of 16%, it will definitely be better. And the cavalry attack is nice of Fortimer, but the distance siege versus trap damage doesn't have any value for me. And if you look at uh, Sir Lamorak, it already has a higher cavalry damage and as a uh, cavalry attack and as a bowman attack uh, in addition as well. So ultimately I wanted to go for Sir Lamorak anyway, but I think I'm going to make the switch earlier than I had planned. So I'm working on the VIP. I still have some points that uh, I didn't use yet. At the end of the week I should hit 185,000 to go. Which, uh, yeah, which, I will, uh, which I will make, that won't be an issue. Uh, so next week I go for 150. I still, yeah, I still get the points from the Spire Loot shop. Got quite some already today. Uh, quite some things changed. Luckily the VIP points are still available. I hope to yeah, get to VIP. 12 soon, although it will still take another five weeks or so. So by the end of next week, should have 150k points remaining. Might also use some Alliance Hunter to speed things up a bit. My goal this week was to start or finish maybe even my wall 30. I haven't really started it yet. I have the silver and iron available. I get that mostly from my farm accounts where I yeah, all use the Undead Trader and the um, Forbidden Labyrinth to get the coins and then the Trader to buy the resources. So that's working out quite well. I only thought uh, maybe I wait a bit longer and start it sometime during the coming week so that I can benefit from it the week after it's going to, well, not really take seven days. It will take longer. Currently, I'm not having the best uh, construction boost that I could have, but uh, yeah, it will still take quite some time. And in the meantime, I can keep collecting for the uh, Stronghold 31, which I will start shortly after that, which will uh, yeah, still take, I think I'm already there with iron, but still quite some silver. I think it's, uh, yeah, we can check, but I think it was something like 22, um, yeah, 22 million. So still quite some way to go, but with my main and my N4 farms that are, yeah, all collecting, each collecting around 300k silver a day via the, um, the Forbidden Labyrinth and the Undead Trader, so that should go quite, quite well. So instead, I just upgraded some, I upgraded my Hall of War and upgraded, um, actually upgraded Military Tent to 28, I'm still completing that, and then Hospital to 28, I did that mostly to gather some statistics for my website so that I have all the upgrades of all the buildings. I am now Hall of War is the last one that I still need to do to 28. For the rest I already have all the sets for 28 and all, almost all the sets for 29. I even from some other players got stats for the Stronghold uh, for some other levels. I think 32, 
33 and 37 or something like that. So that's quite uh, quite nice. If anybody watching this video has stats for higher level buildings, it's always much appreciated if you can share that. So can I can have the stats as complete as possible. That's something that many players like to have a look at. Okay, um, so next week I should start a wall, not finish it, and maybe on the side I'm still going to do some resource buildings, or but mostly just uh, just save up resource, resources for the stronghold. Prestige levels, that again depends on the spirit. This time we did uh, select the, the good spirit for the alliance celebration, so I got quite some of those. Uh, prestige banners for the last one already 895 but yeah I'm now getting at a stage where it's, uh, they also cost quite a lot uh, I did this week the embassy which gives a nice extra cavalry damage have that at 28 just like I have the um, building itself and the same for the watchtower also at 28 if I get some more chance the coming week I probably fill up the other buildings that have uh, prestige level with damage or damage received boosts like the the trading post, uh, the trap factory, the wishing well, and things like that. The Soras, I already have all of them to normal level 28, so I just need to get them from 27 to 28. Uh, combat and combat 2 research, mostly keep focusing on combat 2 research, still ongoing. I just realized that yeah, those times also start to be very long. If you look, for example, at... Uh, uh, this troop attack 12 days could probably get it a bit shorter but not uh, maybe not by much so it's really getting a bit annoying but i don't have any special gear i was thinking about enhancing my gear a bit uh, further but yeah that is just the the benefit is very limited if i look for example yeah i can enhance the galahad's boost uh, Galahad's boots that gives me a research speed uh, improvement of 0.88%, so not even 1%. Yeah, and if you see that that cost me 173k uh, uh, steel, that I find that quite a lot. I'm, yeah, I might still do it because I have plenty of steel, so it doesn't really, yeah, cost me that much to that extent. But still, the benefit is very, uh, very limited. But for very large times, also these, uh, yeah, these strongholds and these walls, but also the large research projects, it's definitely going to be, be beneficial. Especially for research, I mean for combat, uh, for sorry for building, you can always choose to have a second queue. But for yeah, research, it's uh, it's very uh, annoying. So there are quite some changes in the update. Uh, yeah, sorry, I will, with the research, I will just keep going with the combat uh, too, and maybe some combat. Um, so looking at my yeah goal to get all Dead Seeker equipment, um, yeah, there was a bit of an uh, quite a bit of change and one change that was not really announced but it was quite annoying is that the the drop rate of the rare material chest fragments seems to be quite a bit lower than before uh, before the patch uh, the update 4.6 so that's quite uh, quite annoying it was uh, yeah i was already getting quite slow because i only i i had already used up luckily i had already used up all my bonus keys uh, the the stock that I still had, so I was uh, yeah just playing with the three bonus keys a day, so 21 a week that I got, and on on average I would get one and a half, maybe even a more uh, rare material per uh, barbarian bonus chest. So that it was quite nice. But now I've uh, looked at my farms, and yeah, sometimes I opened uh, four. Four chests didn't, or very regularly it happened that I opened four chests, didn't get anything. Sometimes opened four, got three. I don't know really what the average is. Maybe the average is a half now or something. I don't know, but it happens quite regularly that I don't get anything. And to get more than the chest that I open, I don't think that has happened anymore. So that's quite uh, quite annoying. That will slow down that part. On the on the plus side, what they have introduced is the goods exchange. So here I, oh yeah, that's me. So I can, for example, request eight uh, rare material just and also request some horns and some refining stones. And probably I'm going to request some emblems as well and fill that up with my farm accounts. But it's a lot more work because yeah, our alliance is quite full, full not enough for everyone to have several farms in 
in in the in the main alliance so it means every day i have to run some or quite some part rallies luckily at my farms i still have a lot of uh, the barbarian bonus keys so i have to run quite some rallies to get the rare material chest fragments and then have to move the accounts uh, leave the farm alliance apply to the main alliance hope that some r4 or r5 is on to invite them or let them in have to log into them donate log out and join the farm alliance again so that's uh, that's quite a lot of work, which is a bit cumbersome because we don't really play this game. At least I don't play it to yeah do a lot of uh, let's say routine administrative work. I, I hope to do less of that, but uh, because of this, I have to do more of that if I want to keep up. Um, yeah, with having these uh, yeah a growth of the rare material chest uh, fragments. So that's a bit annoying, but I probably keep keep doing it. What I'm not going to do this week is open my um, chest. I have 21, but I'm not going to open them. Uh, I'm just going to wait a while with that, hope that they roll back this change and, and increase the drop rate again. Uh, yeah, because it feels a bit like uh, like a waste and I can always do it uh, do it later. So far, I'm not, uh, not really close. I did consider at some moment, but I've decided not to spend my gold yet. I feel I'm getting a bit low on gold. I did consider uh, getting um, an... So if you have plenty of gold, you can do that to get a warmonger necklace. Currently, the price sometimes at 31k is not bad. So uh, for 31k warmonger necklace, you can buy it, dismantle it. You get uh, one rare material and you get uh, yeah some steel and you get some other materials that you might uh, need so it's actually relatively a good deal i've done it before for even a higher price but currently i find uh, yeah with 49k that would mean i have only 18 left after doing that i feel like i'm getting a bit low on, on gold i want to have some spare for whatever reason so i think i'm just going to yeah get my rare material materials like that for a while so what also changed is the um, the refining stones were taken away from the uh, magic spire uh, instead uh, or not instead uh, they did add a raw basic soul gemstone fragments which is quite uh, quite nice but yeah no refining stones anymore that's quite annoying i'm i'm quite far with um uh, getting my uh, refining stones uh, all up to level six i'm now working on this one uh, well a little bit over halfway done and then this one still have to do completely but now it is going quite a bit slower unfortunately because uh, yeah because of this uh, change i will keep yeah working on it and mostly i get these now via the goods exchange which is going quite slow actually but okay i will just keep uh, keep working on it and yeah what is looking ahead i'm also each day now buying these 10 10 <coughs> sorry 10 basic soul gemstone fragments uh, you can buy a maximum of 10 i've already done that today so once you have uh, done that you get a, a level four soul gemstone fragment i don't know how much it costs to go from four to five somebody told me uh, in my alliance who already has a level five soul gems basic soul gemstone that it cost more than uh, 200 i think 210,000 points to to get it from five to six which is really incredible if you look at the at the valor gemstones it cost already 1700 17000 sorry so that's already a huge uh, amount and to yeah to get that to go even further is really uh, annoying so that is something that is yeah that i'm not looking forward to but yeah i'm still wanting to improve uh, things so i'm still going for those fragments but it just means also collecting a lot more refining points will you really uh, benefit it's more it's not probably you won't even benefit directly if you get a level four uh, i don't know yet the stats but if you get a level four soul uh, gemstone basic soul gemstone maybe it's not even better than um, than a feller gemstone a level six feller gemstone but you can at least yeah improve it further 
but yeah, it's quite uh, quite annoying. Uh, next thing that I'm quite happy with, I've already used this uh, once before. Um, let's refresh it a few times. Uh, was this a nice one? I think this was the one that I had success with, so I tried this again. So this is a way that worked quite well to get a lot of assault power. Uh, by doing only one shot, I hope that it works well. So you get on the first shot, you get uh, 100k assault power. Quite nice. So what you do is don't shoot further, but just do it again. If you do it like that, the field doesn't change. So you get it again and again. Sometimes it's like 50-50 between this and another price, like this one. But uh, I also had one time that I had it eight times in a row. That was really, uh, really great. Unfortunately, I'm not so lucky uh, now. Okay, but I think maybe on general, it's maybe half 50-50 chance. Very nice because it's uh, yeah, it's relatively large amounts, 100k. Uh, As you can see here, yeah, I got it uh, from the eight shots. I got it six times, so that is uh, that's very nice. Gives you a lot of assault uh, power. I've been a bit, yeah, changed um, changed a bit my focus uh, on the dragon skills. Well, not really my focus, but I was experimenting a bit with the golem today to do more damage. And in the end, I did decide to assign some points again to Cavalry Rage and Bowman Rage and also actually a bit to Siege Rage. They were all 10, they are now 11, 13 and 13. They did increase the, the damage a bit that I did to the Golem. So that I yeah, found quite nice and did it cost uh, too many points. But my main focus is still yeah, the normal attack and defense uh, Dragon skills. So what I did um, was to get, or what I still have to do, is get my Flaming Arrows to to um, oh, let's see if I can do that now because of course I have the uh, let's use up all the assault power that I have um, okay so I can do that now that's quite nice so yeah you see that it is really a lot that you just uh, that I just got um, so that was my goal actually today to get us up to, or for this week, to get us up to 21. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so also here for the next level after that 22, you see that the actually this nice damage boost, Bowman first infantry damage boost doesn't decrease any further. You get 10% Bowman attack, still nice. But yeah, I really like those damage, uh, damage boosts actually. Uh, even though that it's just 2%, I don't know. I just really like the, the damage and damage uh, reduction boost. Uh, something else that I did this uh, week or that I wanted to do actually, what I also didn't complete yet, is get my Mars of Fury to five stars. Maybe I'm still going to succeed tomorrow. Um, the thing is that currently in the shop, um, I can only buy seven and I need uh, 10 in total. And where are they? Um, did I already pass them? I'm still a bit uh, lost with these changes in the... I probably already passed them. Oh yeah, here they are, sorry. Um, I still have only two, so not enough yet. I need 10 in total, but yeah, hope maybe tomorrow. I, I, I would say I should make it tomorrow because tomorrow the, um, we start with the hero trials. I, yeah, I should uh, get quite some points there, I assume. I'm not completely sure. I have to check that out, but I had a feeling that the, week, the, the points that I claimed for already completed have for the, the yeah, your completed trials. I'm, Maybe it's just uh, maybe I'm just getting a bit suspicious, but I had a feeling that those points had gone down. But yeah, that's something I have to look at a bit more. I haven't written down those points, so it's just a gut feel. But I only got like 1,000 something for the gemstone trials, and I thought I had already gone further than that. 
definitely I think but for the dra dragon trials I would get four or five thousand or something if I, if that is suddenly two thousand the next uh, time I get there then I definitely know they played around with the points they assigned I mean I know they have made certain things cheaper but yeah if they are going to give us less points then uh, that is not really very helpful okay uh, for next week I'm wanting to get this Flaming Arrows 2 to 5 stars, the one that I just uh, looked at and that I got to 21. I also want to get that to 5 uh, stars. Um, that is one of my goals. And the other one, yeah, I just want to start working on Cavalry Claw. I don't know if it's realistic to get it to level uh, 21, but that is the ultimate uh, goal to go there one by one. The other t For the other two, to get those to 21, also very interesting, but for those I have to probably wait a bit more until I get the uh, the dragon level up as well. So that's not uh, not doable at the moment. Might have to yeah wait or focus on putting other ones to 22 first, or somehow getting more dragon points, dragon XP points. Uh, but for the coming weeks, I should still be uh, the coming week. I should still be okay um, for emblems. I'm not really making a lot of progress there. That's just going very, uh, very slowly. Mostly uh, because I, I keep buying them from the undead trader, but that's just going very slow. I have the feeling they might even have increased the time. I think I saw more than 21 days on this route. So I have to see once it resets after eight and a half day whether it's still going to, yeah, what it will be the new uh, time. And maybe these green ones come more often. I'm not sure. Um, what I'm also going to try to do is get those uh, green ones from the um, yeah, from the goods exchange so that I get some more uh, points. That's always helpful. So currently, you know, I'm still not very impressive. Uh, just working my way up slowly, and I will just continue uh, doing that. Mm. Okay, um, I think I've already mentioned most of the things that I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, just a small thing that I, yeah, that's a really a sidestep from the from the growth actually. Uh, but I'm, uh, yeah, I have a lot of maps still um, from those, uh, from that Kingdom Quest uh, event. And I'm really yeah, trying to participate with that as much as possible. And here you really need to work together as a, as a kingdom. Actually, the prices for this event, they are quite nice and have something to do with growth. As for some of them, uh, not this stage, but for example, you get some killing buffs. The gathering speed maybe not so interesting, but here you can get a 50% construction speed boost. And here even a... Uh, research speed uh, boost so those are really quite uh, beneficial so it's uh, yeah, good to work together and get those uh, points as kingdoms are getting less and less active I guess um, it might be difficult but uh, yeah we just uh, work towards it we just had the first uh, milestone and I just keep uh, keep using those uh, those maps okay that was it for the video this week thanks for watching if you have any questions or any tips always feel free to share i'm also still learning a lot in the game especially when they change things but also in general so yeah if you have any tips if you feel i can benefit from anything please feel free to share that's always much appreciated and i can let others know hey thanks for watching the video